What's going on, guys? How's everybody doing today? I'm doing well. Thank you for asking. The body beat down here. Michael, at your most humble service on this Friday afternoon, roughly about 4.30 in the afternoon. I get started a little bit later on Fridays because I got to go to the bus garage after my route and turn papers in and fill up the bus and that kind of stuff. And then I got to get home, eat my pre-workout and all that good stuff. So it takes me, I'm about 30 minutes behind schedule typically on Fridays. So anyway, today is back day. As you know, that's what my Fridays are. If you keep up with all my videos, and I'm sure you do, I have a, a thousand of videos. Go check them all out. Why not? You ain't got nothing else to do. Go check them out. A lot of them are shorts, so you can go right through them like that. Just like that. You can go right through them. And you're going to notice my finger. No, I'm not flipping you off. Maybe I am. Uh, I was cutting up, uh, cutting up a sweet potato this morning for my breakfast. And I had a slick knife with a slick hand. And it went right through my finger. So I about slipped the whole end of it off. I uploaded a picture of it there on my community tab. But, uh, yeah, it's not uh, perfectly perfect. And uh, it's kind of made me have to think about things today. Can I work out? Should I work out? Because that's, if I do anything stupid, it's just going to pop back open there and then we're back at ground zero. So uh, my plans were to go up to do some heavy uh, bent rows. So I don't know what that's going to uh, end up being today. I, I don't know. I can't really do heavy probably and I don't even know if I can do light. I got 25s on here. Right now, and that's 95 pounds, the bar is 45. So I figure uh, we're going to see how we do. And maybe if worse comes to worse, I can use my straps and put most of the weight just on my straps and not have to worry too much about my, as much about my grip. So we'll see. So for now, and I never even do this, I, I always just warm up with 135. But I'm doing this especially for this reason. So, uh, We'll see how it goes. Go from there. I'm going to grab a little wire. That's what she said. Probably should use the short bar. Guys, uh, as you can tell, I switched out the bar. Maybe you can't tell. I did have the long bar. Now I got the short bar. It just fits in here a little better uh, with these uh, weight horns over here on this machine. So uh, this bar here is only 34 pounds. So right now we're looking at roughly, oh, 124 pounds. We got 45s on. And, uh, we're just gonna do what we can do, guys. This is going to be my final set on these. I'm not going to keep pressing my luck. I'm going up to 244. Uh, I just, I don't want to pop this back open. You know, I don't want to hurt it anymore. Tomorrow's deadlift day, and uh, i got to be prepared for that. So, uh, we're going with this. I'm going to see if doing underhanded will work anything. If I can keep my finger out like that or something. I don't know. It's kind of difficult to do. So... Let me just use my straps, see if that'll help. 
keep some of the pressure off. I'd rather not use my straps unless I'm in the 300s. But, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do, guys. You know, you gotta work, you gotta do workarounds, compromise a little bit. Uh, anything is better than not working out. I would literally have to explode into a million pieces to not work out. So, I'm gonna do it like this. See if this gives me a little comfort on that finger. And just like that, we're over here. We're going to do the two handle pullback. I enjoy this movement. I'm going to see how it affects my hand, my finger. I've only got 50 pounds on the machine. One, two, that's not a lot of weight um, I can't do a whole lot of weight like this anyway because I don't have anything to hold my legs down so uh, I can usually get up a little over a hundred and uh, get a, a good hard workout so I'm not gonna film all the sets because this typically isn't as impressive as some other things that people like to see so I might do one more set if I go up like to a heavier weight and uh, we'll video that so we'll see y'all in just a minute all right, we're up to 150. It is a little hard for me to hold on to, so I don't know how many reps I'll get. I'm happy with that. I'm going to leave it at that. They were slow, nice, controlled. And uh, yeah. So we'll think of another movement to do and we'll get that done. Stick around, guys. All right, guys. We're going to try some rope, uh, rope uh, cable pulls. I left 150 on there. We'll see how that goes. I may have to drop it some. Uh, we'll see how this feels. <coughs> I figure holding the rope like this will be better than pulling against something again like like that and kind of putting so much pressure against that finger maybe doing like this will kind of help a little bit but I may have to lower the weight we'll see I may have to fix my fix this too There we go.
All right, so I went down to 120 to see if that'll ease up some of the pressure on my hands. <coughs> And just like that, we're done with the video. Uh, this video had nothing of real significance as far as the training goes. However, the significance is push through no matter what happens. Things happen. You know, uh, whether you're sick or you get a cut, a bump or a bruise or a, some bad news or something or what have you, you can still push through and get your workout done. Things might not go exactly as planned, but the, they can be close. So I got three more sets of this, uh, these little cable rows to do. I'm gonna get those done. I'm gonna get my supper, go uh, get my supper eight, uh, make some ground turkey and something else, some rice, and I don't know what else I'm gonna have with it. So anyway, guys, if you found it any uh, inspiring at all, seeing an old crippled man working out with a busted up finger, please consider giving me a like, share, and subscribe if you would. And go ahead and do that too, the body beat down. That's me, Michael, your incredible host. And uh, while you're at it, you know, also get up, get out, get red, do it to and have a good day, good night, good weekend, uh, all that good stuff, all right? We'll see you later on the body beat down. Ha <laughs> ha I like that. Get up, get out, get mad, and do it, do it!